Microsoft 365 has recently released a competitive and built-in work management solution, bringing all your favorite Microsoft apps together so that you can engage and collaborate on all your different projects without needing to use external apps like Trello, Notion, Asana, or others. This new work and project management app is called Microsoft Loop, and today I'm excited to introduce, explain, and show you how you can get up and running with Microsoft Loop in 2023. Okay, so before we go ahead and launch into this work management tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note out the way, let's go ahead and dive into Microsoft Loop and navigate through all of its core features and demonstrate how you can get started with the Microsoft Loop app for your small business's work and project management requirements. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive into the Microsoft Loop app. Now, for the purpose of today's tutorial, I'm going to navigate through the web version of Microsoft Loop. However, you can also download the app onto your mobile device and you can manage your teams, collaborate and engage on all your unique projects within the app. Okay, so getting started, what you want to do is head over to your browser and type in loop.microsoft.com and that's going to take you to this landing page. Then simply navigate down and click on Get Started, It's Free. And once you've signed up with a Microsoft 365 account or a free Outlook account, we'll meet you inside Microsoft Loop. And once you've signed up, that's going to take you inside Microsoft Loop. As you can see, I'm currently on the public preview. Now, if we navigate over to the left hand side, once you've signed in, you're going to be taken directly inside a workspace. So this is a default workspace getting started. And down here are multiple pages, which we're going to talk more about creating later on. Now, these default pages are going to guide you through getting started with Microsoft Loop. However, we're going to cover this in today's tutorial. So what we want to do is first simply navigate up to the loop logo and click here. And that's going to take us to our home page. And on our home page, this is where we can access our workspaces. As you can see, at the moment, we only have one workspace getting started. This is a default workspace. Now think about workspaces as dynamic spaces for creating and managing all your unique projects. These could be team or client projects, task lists, brainstorming spaces for collaboration, or anything that you or your team are working on. So let's go ahead and create our first workspace. Simply navigate up to this plus icon up here, then navigate down and name your new workspace. I'm going to call this Organic Advertising. And this is going to be a workspace where our team can collaborate together on different ideas in terms of organic marketing for our business. And before I go ahead and create this new workspace, what I can also do is update the cover for this workspace. So what cover best represents this workspace? I'm just going to navigate down and click on this cover image for now and then click on select. I can also navigate over to this plus icon and I can choose an emoji that I want to represent this project. I'm going to type in the keyword ads and see what pops up. I'm going to go ahead and use this emoji here and then come down and click on create. And as you can see, I've gone ahead and created our team's first workspace. Now, this workspace is dedicated to organic advertising activities. Now, if I navigate over to the left-hand sidebar, you'll notice that your workspace, my workspace is organic advertising, is made up of pages. Now, you can see we have one default page, untitled page, that has been created. So what we want to do is go ahead and first name our page. I'm going to call this content ideas. Then I'm going to navigate over to this plus icon next to organic advertising, which is our workspace, and then come down and click on new page. Now we can also connect a link so we can link different websites if we like and other internal Microsoft apps. However, at the moment, I'm going to go ahead and add a new page. And as you can see, I've created a new page. I'm going to call this Social Media Ideas. And then one last page. And I'm going to call this SEO Ideas. So as you can see, at the moment, my workspace, Organic Advertising, is made up of three pages. Content Ideas, Social Media Ideas, and SEO Ideas. Now, like I mentioned, your pages are used to better organize your workspaces. 
So what I'm going to do is navigate over to the page social media ideas. Now, just quickly before we dive into creating and managing our pages within our workspaces, what I want to do is navigate back over to the loop homepage. If we click here, that's going to take us back to our dashboard where we can see all our workspaces. At the moment, you can see we have two workspaces, the default workspace and the workspace we just created. Now, if we navigate up to these three dots next to our workspace, we can come down and open up this workspace. We can also add this workspace to favorites. So I'm going to go ahead and click favorites. And now if I click on favorites over here, you can see that this workspace has been added in here. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on these three dots. I can also rename and style, and I can also add members to this particular workspace. And I can also delete this workspace if I like. So if I go ahead and click on add members, I can simply navigate up here and add team members to this particular workspace. And then once you've added your workspace members that you want to collaborate with, simply go ahead and click on invite. So I'm going to exit out of this. Now we can also choose how we view our workspaces. We can click on this list view or we can click on this card view if we like. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my workspace. And that's going to take us back into organic advertising. This is the workspace we created earlier. And we currently have the social media ideas page selected. Now, if we click on these three dots, we can come down and we can create a new sub page. If we like, we can open the page, which is already open, and we can also share the page link. So for example, if you wanted to quickly share this page with other individuals within your team, you can send this directly via email or other channels with this link. You can also share a loop component and we'll talk more about this shortly, rename and style and then add to a workspace. Now, if we click out of this, we can also navigate up to our workspace and we can jump between the different workspaces. If we like, we can also create a new workspace if we want. Now above this, we have ideas. Now this is where you can create, collect, you can plan without sharing any of your ideas with anyone else. This is a private page. However, once you create this page, so for example, if we navigate down here and click create page, we can quickly go ahead and add a page title. And I'm going to quickly type a sentence. And once I've jotted down ideas on my personal page, what I can do is navigate up to shared locations. And if I like, I can add this page to a public workspace. So if I've added some ideas and I want to share these ideas with my team, then what I can do is go ahead and add this to my workspace. Okay, so what I'm going to do is navigate back over to go to workspace and come down and click on organic advertising. Now with this page, I'm going to go ahead and add an icon and I can navigate through these emoji icons and I like the look of this investigation icon. I'm going to click that and then add a cover and this is going to represent my social media ideas page. So I'm going to come down and just select this image here and then click on select. Now let's navigate over to just start typing. This is where I'm going to introduce this page to my team before I invite my team members to collaborate with me on this page on this project. Okay, so I've gone ahead and added, this is where we can identify and discuss ideas related to our social media marketing. We want to reach more customers through our social media channels. So I'm happy with that description. I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter and then navigate down. And what I can do is click on forward slash on my keyboard, or I can just click here and that's going to allow me to insert components. Now, if we navigate up to general, you can see we can add these general components. If I come down and add a checklist, I can click here and I can go ahead and quickly add a few items. And then what I'm going to do is hit enter twice and then come down and click on insert. And I'm going to add heading two, and I'm going to add our social media channels. And now what I'm going to do is click up here on the sentence and click enter. That's going to add a space in here. Then I'm going to navigate back down to this component here, header to component, and then click on it and then locate this option here and drag and drop that down here. I'm going to navigate up here and add another space. Okay, so these are our social media channels that we've already set up. We've already set up TikTok and we've already set up Instagram and YouTube. But let's say that we haven't yet set up our LinkedIn company page and our Facebook business page so we can start engaging in social media marketing activities. So what I can do is I can click on this option here and I can come down to this little chat icon and I can leave an emoji if I like or what I can do is click on this chat 
and then come down and tag an individual. I'm going to go ahead and tag someone that is responsible for setting up our Facebook business page. And I simply added at and then E and this is the individual that will be associated to setting up the Facebook business page. So I can go ahead and add a comment. As you can see, I've added please set up this account. Then I can come down and click on send. And this individual will be notified inside their account under notifications. Now I can also navigate down this page further and I can click on to insert and I'm going to navigate down and we also have these templates. So for example, I can add a voting table and this is a collaborative voting table that we can fill out, we can customize and then we can share this with our team or our team members that are part of this workspace, part of this page can then make a vote. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly fill out this voting table. Okay, so as you can see, I've quickly gone ahead and filled in part of this voting table. I've gone ahead and changed the title. What do you think will be our most effective channel for growth? Now, I could have added this as a smaller text, a paragraph below the title if I wanted to. Now, down here, this is the voting table. As you can see, we have ideas down here. We have pros, cons, and then the votes over here. So what people can do is go ahead and choose an option and add a vote. Now you can customize this the way that you like. So for example, under idea, what I can do is click on this drop down and I can rename. I can also change the column type if I like. At the moment it's text. I can add number, date, person, voting, or I can add a label if I like. I can also come down and change the way uh, that the data is displayed as well as delete this area. Now, if I click out of that, again, I can do the same with each of these columns. I can simply come down and change those column types. Now, we can navigate over to the left-hand side and we can also rearrange the different elements that we've added into our table. And we can also navigate up to each of the columns and we can actually shift and rearrange these columns. For example, I can move pros over here. And so cons are on the left hand side, pros are over here. And then we can also click on add to add another column if we like between these different columns. Then if we navigate down the page again, we can go ahead and add a new column if we like. Now, if we navigate up to the top, we can go ahead and expand the table. We can also hide this column if we like, and we can sort. And again, we can rearrange and move this voting table, this component, if we like. Now, with each of these different components that we've already created on our page, we can actually loop these components. So, for example, if I navigate down to this voting table, what I can do is I can right click and then come down and click create loop component. And that's going to loop this component. And what that means is I can embed this specific component throughout my different apps that I'm using within Microsoft. For example, Excel, PowerPoint, Word, and Microsoft Teams. Now more features are rolling out as we speak in terms of the capabilities of loop components and other features. So for example, what we can do now is click on copy component. And just like that, I've copied this link. Again, I can embed this in an email and I can send this to my team to engage in this vote. And in the near future, you'll be able to embed your different components, pages, and workspaces across all your different Microsoft apps. Okay, so I'm gonna exit out of that for now and then navigate down the page and click here. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit forward slash and then navigate down and here we have templates again we have communication we can tag people we can add dates emoji picker we can add an image in here however I'm happy with that now if we navigate up to the top of the page we can come down and we can click share and we can share this entire workspace to specific people if we like by simply clicking here and adding the individuals that we want to collaborate with on this workspace if I navigate back up to share we can click on page link and we can share this page directly with our team just this page then we have loop component and that's going to allow us to loop this entire page just like i showed you earlier remember we looped this component this voting table and we can embed that table across our different apps you can do the same with an entire page as you can see, I've looped this entire page and now I can share this page across my different apps. If I wanted to reference this page in an email, then I can go ahead and embed this page in an email. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of that. 
and then navigate up here and again we can quickly go ahead and copy this entire page as a loop component then next to share we have these three dots we can see past variations of this page so if we have a team that's collaborating with us and they make a change but we want to see past versions of this page we can go ahead and click on version history and then see the different modifications the different changes on this page okay so what i'm going to do is click on these three dots we can also come down and click on settings and this is where we can change the basic display of our pages for example at the moment we have system selected we can also select light or dark this is all dependent on your own personal preferences i'm going to exit out of that and then navigate over to SEO ideas. Remember, this is another page within our project, within our workspace, organic advertising. Now, if we navigate down the page, before we start creating this page, what we can do is we can actually choose a template to help us get started when it comes to creating a page. So if we navigate across, we can choose any of these suggested options, or we can come down and click on explore other templates. And this is where we can navigate through these different templates. For example, I'm going to click on Team Decision. I can navigate through what this page will look like. I like the look of that. Uh, if we come down to, let's say, Meeting Notes, I'm going to navigate through this. Uh, and then what else do we have down here? I'm going to go ahead and click on Action Heroes and then navigate through this page. Now, if you like the look of any of these templates, what you can simply do is go ahead and select the template, then come down and click on Use This Template. And that template is going to be added directly into your page. And as you can see, that's going to change the name to the template name. So what I would do is go ahead and change the name back to SEO Ideas. And the rest of this content on this template, we can customize the way that we like. We can change the cover, the image over here. We can navigate down to all these different components and we can change the elements. We can change the content so that it represents our page, represents our project. This is a great place to get started to help you with the overall structure of your project pages. Now, like I mentioned earlier, Microsoft Loop is new. It's only just been released. So in terms of its current features, they are limited. However, they're rolling out new features as we speak. So remember, Microsoft Loop is designed to optimize the way that your team uses Microsoft 365. And my understanding of Microsoft Loop from navigating through this tool is that it's a similar tool to Notion, ClickUp, and Asana, and all those other project and task management tools. However, Microsoft Loop is unique in terms of it brings all of the Microsoft apps together in a extremely synergized and collaborative way. This essentially allows for optimized team collaboration and productivity. Many of these other apps allow for these integrations with, say, Microsoft apps. However, in terms of the finer features that you can access between the connection, Microsoft Loop will definitely be a game changer. However, that is a brief overview of how you can get started with Microsoft Loop. And there we have it guys, that is it for this brief Microsoft Loop app tutorial for beginners. Now if you have any questions about this tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.